council members are ironing out the budget for the next fiscal year, and by the end of this week, we should know how your tax dollars will be used. Right now, council members are looking to spend millions of dollars to equip Austin police officers with body cameras. While it comes at a high price, KXAN Sophia Beausoleil reports community members believe it is long overdue. Austin City Council is looking to issue 500 body cameras to officers in the next year. I think accountability and transparency are really the, the keys to increasing public trust um, between the community and law enforcement. Which is why Austin Police Monitor Margo Frazier supports adding body cameras to the force. The former Travis County Sheriff says while the extra eye is helpful, it won't solve everything. People need to recognize that you don't put body cameras on officers and immediately all is right in the world, um, but it certainly goes a long way towards it. Big profile cases across the country and even here in Austin have spurred the debate for body cameras, which would cost the city about $19 million over six years. I think the cameras are worth the investment, and I think the money's there. It's an investment we have to make. Austin NAACP President Nelson Linder is keeping an eye on the council's decision and what happens later this week. He says while he believes cameras are a good idea, he doesn't believe they'll fix everything. So let's be clear about it. It's going to enhance what we do. It's the third eye. But yet we need to have policing that's respectful of all people's rights. Supporters say body cameras could be the deciding factor when it comes down to a he said, she said situation. Reporting from City Hall, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Police monitor Margot Frazier says the council still has to vote, but she expects body cameras to become a reality. It has taken years for Austin police to get approval for body cameras. The department was one of the first in Central Texas to talk about using this new tool. In 2011, a small group of officers tested several different types during Texas Relay Weekend, but questions about the costs, video storage, and reliability kept them from moving forward. Since then, several smaller police departments have started testing out body cameras. That includes officers in Lakeway, Georgetown, Round Rock, Cedar Park, Burnett, Granite Shoals, and the Travis County Sheriff's Office.